Shalom in Yeshua's name. This video is going to tackle um, the end time uh, poisoning by a warfare of humanity, um, which many educated people know as geoengineering, and the rest of us know as chemtrails. Uh, for, for those of you who have never heard of this phenomenon before, um, when a jet engine uh, is dissipating normal exhaust fumes, it's known as a contrail, and it disappears within 30 seconds to a minute. So you might get a trail of about several hundred feet, and then it just dissipates. But a chemtrail actually stays there on the horizon and puffs out um, and basically lingers in the horizon. Now there's been many independent scientists, of which I'll give the details below to some websites and videos which will help you understand this. Um, independent scientists doing studies all around the world finding aluminium and uh, barium uh, is, 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 is the two main soft metals, but there are hard metals such as lead, such as arsenic, um, within these, yes, arsenic is, is within these chemtrails, which as we know is a poison. Um, but what effect is it having on the plants and the, and the rest of the organic life on the planet? Well, obviously, the small nanoparticles of aluminium and barium are clogging up um, root systems. So even though that there's definitely as much rain as there's ever been in the Northern Hemisphere, um, a lot of plants are dying due to malnutrition and due to drought status because the moisture isn't getting through the root system to the rest of the tree or plant and that's not all. Now in the building trade there's known as asbestos um, which is a banned material which uh, gives off um, a sort of a very fine um, fiber like material which if it's breathed in, then it will cause cancer. That's why it's banned in the building trade. What do you think they're putting into chemtrails? Yeah, these fibers um, have, have also been found within in the chemtrails as well, asbestos. And everyone is breathing it in. And I've, I've recently lost one... Uh, lady who, who, who is part of the, the family who used to work in, um, in care homes and these care homes used to be big old houses with asbestos roofs so everyone was like breathing it in and she died of cancer about a couple of years ago and now her son is dying of the same condition you know he used to work in hospitals I used to work with him once or twice and uh, he's also dying of cancer as well in the same condition, asbestos. But that's not all. That's not all. You may have heard of the chemical warfare um, and the type of warfare which was going on in uh, the first and second uh, Iraq wars, um, Middle Eastern wars that's been going on the past 20 years, especially the last one into which a lot of our tanks and, and the military um, have been using depleted uranium in order to um, punch through the, the, the very hard uh, armour uh, within these tanks. And in doing so, it's been poisoning the waters within that area. It's very serious, which, is, which has caused uh, a reaction um, to the local populace um, within these areas um, and this is why um, many politicians and I've got to forgive some of the other politicians for their wickedness I made one recently of George Galloway but he's by no means the most evil man on the planet because the he even knows that you know Tony Blair is very much uh, responsible for sending that army and you know George Bush into Iraq 
Um, and if it was a straightforward war, if it was a straightforward just uh, going in, um, doing what they had to do and getting out, then fine. But the bio-warfare which is used there has caused a lot of sickness um, there for the past uh, de decade, over a decade. Um, obviously children being bor born um, basically with deformities and um, all, all number of things. It's unfortunate, I think, for our military, that which, which, which have only been carrying out instructions, which they only joined the military in order to um, stand up for their way of life. But that way of life now has become so evil that even other wickedness and other evils and other evil religions such as Islam is indeed raised up to probably to purge out this society, but I just think that um, in the last days that the wickedness has increased so much that um, you could only really say at the moment, you know, I couldn't really um, judge perfectly as God judges, but looking at the situation, you probably have to say Russia are, look as if they're um, one of the most righteous nations in the world just now, you know, supporting Christianity and all that. Um, but we, you know, there, there's there's of course a lot of evils going on within Asia as well, you know. But that's a by the by, you know. There is a very good video by uh, Michael Har, which I'll put down there below, which he covers the King of the North, King of the South wars. I thought he covered it very well, and you know, um, within the electromagnetic um, type of warfare that's going on. Um, using mind control weapons, which he goes into very, very well, which are all linked to chemtrails and the Morgan, Morgan's disease, which has affected quite a few people, into which you can take uh, high alkaline foods, high fiber foods, which will help you digest and clear out your, your system, where you can just excrete out any dangerous nano nanoparticles which there's been videos made on that and I'll try to leave the links below um, for you there so in order for you to stay healthy and I've noticed that a few foods um, in these videos that, I, that God has been um, getting me to have so it's been obviously helping me but obviously today people are having such poor diets that um, that they're becoming very sick very easily um, and obviously these soft um, metals within the chemtrails are causing a lot of uh, memory type symptom diseases which are clogging up um, people's uh, minds. You know, there, there is mucus which forms there due to, due to this. And, uh, but I, I do believe it's important that the food and the diet that we keep in, the, in these last days more than ever, because we're being hit from so many angles, and uh, the way that obviously the globalists, you might call them, are actually really tackling humanity is through the chemtrails now. That's the, the number one way of causing all kind of suffering, death, disease, famines, and so on. And of course the harp technology, um, you know, is, 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 uh, is mixed into this as well, which... Uh, Obviously, um, uh, you know, I listed Kar Kar Kargachev's um, up to type 3 or type 4 civilizations, um, which, which uh, if you don't know about that, you can just Google that. But um, the type 1 civilization uses weather warfare, you know, so they're having all of these weapons, such as harp, which they can disturb volcanoes, they can cause earthquakes, they can cause tsunamis, they can cause... Um, floods and so on and so on but they can also use it to send out waves of energy which again resonate <clears throat> with the particles within the chemtrails the nanotechnology which they can send frequencies out using that technology and they can cause people to have um, severe depression thoughts of suicide um, thoughts of doing all types of wickedness all they need to do is um, send out that particular wave 
and it resonates with the, the nanoparticles within people because we're all breathing it in and it's in the water and it's in the food now, it's in the food chain uh, which are linked to something else which I'd like to talk about which is called black goo um, now the black goo is apparently an oil like substance which uh, well let's just say that they, they've discovered it to have intelligence now I could speculate that this black goo is being possessed by by demons I don't know but it all ties into control it all ties into what they're spraying in the skies the nanotechnology it's the black chemtrails now which I'm almost completely certain that they're actually spraying this black goo as well now just to give a short history about this as far as I've learned about it but it can go back thousands of years this technology and it's to do with mind control but this was this technology was actually fought for by the British in the Falkland Islands you might have wondered why you know the the British Empire found it so necessary to go to war with Argentina for a barely occupied set of islands with uh, you know birds and squirrels and such I'm not even sure if there is such things there but there's certainly a lot of uh, birds there on the islands I'm not sure what else is there and you would think why are they why are they actually fighting for an island that's just uninhabited and has some wildlife there what's what's the point of that well the point of it was apparently there was high quantities of this black goo which that's uh, the common term for it there, there's obviously a scientific term for it but that's that's the public knowledge that's been out for the past few years and uh, watch videos on the BBC trying to use this black goo spraying it on the antennas of the BBC in order to cause mind control which explains a lot for me you know um, why people are so zombified watching the terrestrial channels just now the BBC and all of that I'm not sure about the other channels but we know that the BBC are probably the most wicked broadcasting organization in the entire world of that I have no doubt you know because obviously uh, they're harbor the people they harbor within that organization and protect Jimmy Savile and all, all of that that filth you know that Johnny Rotten exposed back in the 70s I think he was one of the first ones to expose him um, there's been a few others that have tried to expose people such as that and they've been just taken off air you know a lot of people's careers just going down the tubes because they're trying to stand up for good, the good um, hallelujah but we must do that and this is why I'm making this video because the chemtrails at the moment are a one number one priority for the globalist elite to continue to uh, mind control poison and so on and um, the world's population is mostly for control but uh, into the bargain if they're spraying this black goo in the chemtrails um, it will also cross over to the spiritual the vesica pisces which is um, a symbol that's used to depict the supernatural with the natural or the, the physical with the spiritual and I think this has very much got to do with the black goo that they're spraying um, in certain places and this is kind of like I keep thinking about the I think it's Ghostbusters 2 where uh, they actually is green goo but it actually responds to either negative or positive energy I think it's Ghostbusters 2 or Ghostbusters 3 or something where they actually uh, spray this green goo or whatever it is everywhere and then they start playing this really positive music about love and everybody's just the whole <laughs> the whole of New York City's all singing and dancing around um, or you know if, if you're getting a lot of negative stuff which uh, I'm, I'm tackling, I'm dealing with uh, negative stuff at the moment but I'm I'm not portraying it in a what would you say 
I'm not doing it in such a way as to cause people to doubt God because that is the key, that is the crux of it. If you have the Spirit of God in your life, you can certainly pray these things out of your body, out of the, your surrounding atmosphere. Ask the Lord to put a canopy above where your family are dwelling in order to protect them. And obviously look at, look at diet and stuff like that as well. But um, the Spirit of God, as I've said before, is the most powerful weapon, if you like. It's not a weapon, but you know what I'm saying? It says that no, no weapon formed against the children of God shall prosper. So as long as you're walking in the Spirit, that um, the Lord wants to show that anything that Satan does can just be repelled, can just be... Um, you know, that you that as long as you're walking in Jesus' righteousness, which involves daily prayer, sometimes daily um, repentance, um, and, and that type of thing, um, you know, that you're walking in the light, that you're not harboring any hatred for your brother and sister, even though, you know, I've, I've seen what people have done to me in the past, and it just seems, the evil just seems to be increasing all the time, and yet the Lord keeps on protecting um, me and my family and I'm forever indebted to, to Yahweh for that. The British went to war in the Falkland Islands um, for this black goo, apparently brought it back to the UK, found that it was uh, an intelligent substance and but that they couldn't control it, you see. And so there's got to be other entities involved um, within using this stuff because it's uh, it has a will of its own, I think they discovered. Um, it's, it sounds crazy, I mean, it sounds like something out of a scientific novel, a science fiction novel, or something to that effect, but apparently it's real. Um, an independent scientist, I'll leave the link below, actually brought it with him to one of his seminars, and you can see it moving around um, within the jar. <laughs> I mean, how, how, how it does it, I don't know, but I mean, so if there are if this has been something originally of God's creation, which Satan has, has been trying to, to use, that kind of makes sense for me because there's a lot of discoveries, you know, by Nikola Tesla that are, you know, were, were discovered. I think he had such amazing understanding of the universe. And I think a lot of his discoveries were, were meant to be for the good, you know, for free energy and such. But, you know, the, the global elite get hold of the get hold of it. And they start using it for for their own world domination control plans. You know, Jesus came to set us free, give us life in abundance. Um, Satan continually comes to lie, steal, and 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 destroy, and he tries to control humanity as well. Um, but we are accountable to Yahweh, Hallelujah, and uh, that's all we really need to know about that. Now, why do you think, of course, that the global elite don't want to share this information? Well, the British government have admitted that they've been spraying the sky since the Second World War. But it's only in the past 20 years they've been using this nanotechnology. And, of course, if they admitted that this was happening, you can just imagine all the um, claims that they would get um, overnight. You know, all the lawsuits they would get overnight um, within the United Kingdom within the United States um, people will just be taking the government to court left right and center so of course they're going to hide this they're not going to admit this but the very sad thing is that a lot of the doctors which uh, people have been going to the doctors with uh, for example dry skin which uh, the chemtrails cause dry skin especially um, especially it actually causes rashes, itching, that type of thing. And how this nanotechnology seems to work best is people that suffer from a type of uh, fungus where um, it can be spread, usually it's spread from person to person, that type of thing. Um, I know when I was in Africa, I certainly suffered from that a little bit. Largely, the Lord has, has healed me of, of, of these things. But And yet, I noticed when I came back that the atmosphere in Britain is far drier than, than it was 
in in West Africa where where, where I visited where that there is a balance. There's still I'm not sure if they came through the sky less there, and which I'll be honest with you, I mean, like if <laughs> um, I, I just wonder if a lot of the the New World Order people are just staying in in Africa and third world nations because a lot of them seem to be doing a lot better than the the northern nations today and you know because they still have the a lot of the fruits there are growing um in the wild very freely you know and uh probably a lot more nutritious than the stuff you're buying in the supermarkets today so you just got to wonder you know the only attraction of coming to to the west is money for these third world nations, but if they could truly understand where they're actually going to, they're going to a biological war zone, I think a lot of people would just uh, rather stay where they are, to be honest with you. Now the Morgulans disease and obviously the, um, you know, diseases such as Parkinson's disease which affect the mind and the memory and so on, are obviously being caused by the chemtrails and perhaps some other um, technology um, as well, frequency weapons, that type of thing. But um, again, I believe that, um, you know, how this ties into CERN, I think CERN are still the number one um, organization which are responsible for causing the Mandela effect which is um, somehow going back in time and changing little tiny parts of history. Um, I think they're very much still responsible for that. Um, but obviously the, the chemtrails linked to a, a number of other things. The harp technology could be also linked to opening up, um, helping CERN opening up type, uh, gates gateways into the atmosphere. Or am I trying to cause a spirit of fear? Absolutely not. Um, you know, you, you sometimes, just as David had to face Israel's ultimate fear, which was Goliath at the time, I think humanity have got to face this and understand um, what these people are trying to do, what objectives they have about the transhumanism, that a lot of these nanoparticles um, come alive with uh, a lot of these uh, frequency weapons which uh, cause a charge within people which again elect electromagnetic charges are to do with mind control or also to do with the spiritual as well helping demons to uh, become uh, attached to people because demons also work um, in a number of ways in the physical realms or at least the New World Order works in the physical realms and the demon, demons work in the spiritual realms and this black goo seems to, you know, this Vesica Pisces thing, it seems to just unite both the physical and spiritual worlds. Um, into which you could have something like uh, biological, transhumanized, uh, demon-possessed zombies in the future. That's what they're trying to sort of turn humanity into, I think, at the moment. Which is probably not going fast enough for them because I think there's a number of people now who are finding ways to overcome uh, these diseases which are caused by the chemtrails, the morgulins and so on. Prayer, again, is, is one of the, the greatest weapons a Christian has. You know, there will come a time when Yahweh is going to judge humanity. As I've gone over Jeremiah, I think it's 25, verse 31, I believe. It's the one about the, the whirlwind and the coasts. And I was just looking over some of the videos that I'd made in the past about chemtrails. I've made a f one or two about chemtrails, um, a few about vaccines, um, and I made one or two about, I think it was the, the black goo and the frequency weapons. But ultimately, um, I've had dreams, people have had dreams of coastal areas being flooded, you know, the whole um, world coastlines being being affected and, and flooded. Uh, one of the dreams I saw was about Saudi Arabia, you know, had been broken up into islands. And so I believe this is, this is an event which will happen um, 
which many will say is the start of the tribulation, um, which 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 it could well be. But I I tend to think that when 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 this happens, that um, either you're going to get the you're going to have to obviously get the ministry of the two witnesses before Jesus Christ coming, and the hundred and forty four thousand are anointed. So it's so that whole period seems to last. Seven seven years, you get the the ministry of the the two witnesses, and then you get the second coming of Jesus Christ, and then you get the the ministry of the hundred forty four thousand sort of going back to back, you know. So that's your seven re years right there, and and you've got basically God working within that time, you know. You don't have, to my mind, you know, when is the church going to be raptured within that period, you know, unless you're actually standing up for truth standing against evil and wickedness unless you have a handle on which commandments God wants you to keep which to my mind is all of them you know in faith in Jesus Christ you know as the Apostle James says I'll, I'll show you my faith by my works now he wasn't actually talking about works of the law he was talking about um, going out doing the things which Jesus did the Great Commission preaching the gospel healing the sick driving out demons that's what the, the Apostle James was, was speaking of. But besides all that, of course, we must have, um, we must be keeping the commandments of the Lord. And if that's not you, if that's not your ministry, you're in danger of leading people into hell itself. Even though you're preaching the gospel, even though you're saying, Lord, Lord, even though you're driving out demons and healing the sick, without that base of um, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, does not break the law, then you're opening people up into to hell. You're preaching a false gospel. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you're asking me when the church, who is the church, would be a better question. Second of all, will the church be raptured? Well, I've made one or two videos about that. In my opinion, within this seven-year window, when it's when that could actually take place. If you want my true opinion about um, d does a lot of these pre-millennial or whatever rapture theory believers fit into preaching the true gospel, I would say absolutely not. Absolutely not. 99% of these people out there that are preaching the pre-tribulation rapture will 100%, definitely 100% guarantee be here for parts of this the, the tribulation whether they're still around whether they're still alive in the body or they've they've died in Christ and are just waiting for his coming in order to be caught up with him you see I mean only Enoch and Elijah made it through this life by dying to the flesh as the Apostle Paul tried to explain and actually were actually ascended into heaven too in the past 6,000 years. What makes you think that you are special? You're in the company of Elijah and Enoch. What, what makes you think that? I mean, comments below, I'd love to know what you have that I don't, my friend. Thank you for watching.